1988 was my first year here as an assistant, and uh, he was in the rec program, and he was, uh, he was an outstanding rec football player, and everybody kept talking about this little, real little skinny kid that's running up and down the field that nobody can catch. I was always skinny, but they never treated me like I was skinny. I mean, I was always running people over. I mean, I didn't play skinny. So I think they got over that real quick. When I came here and I was a coach, what made me go wow was all the drills that we used to do, tackle, form drills and stuff. And he'd do them right. He wouldn't have to do them twice. And he was just so fast, so quick. You, know? you can tell when we were young, he had stuff that other kids didn't have. You know, you look at other kids across the field from you, and like, they don't have anybody like we can have over here. You know, Champ's just a special athlete. Champ had a real special quality. When he was a junior and a senior, he was unbelievable. I mean, people just drove to see him play. This isn't a place that just draws people, you know, we don't have a turf field or something people want to see, but they'd come to see him. Champ was very determined, you can tell. He, he wasn't an outspoken kid. He wasn't a lot of rah, rah, rah in your face, you know, and talk a lot of noise. He was one that you could see, he was just motivated. He was that way in high school. He was just focused and quiet. You turned the lights on, he was a football player. Champ never did a lot of talking, but one statement that I remember Champ saying, Things would get rough and coaches would be getting on him and champs, the only thing I'd ever hear him say was, come on fellas. And that was enough, you know, it always picked everybody up and got them going. And that was, that was the kind of leadership that champ had 